Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at Google account, YouTube account, and your Gmail. They're all linked up, they're all together. So you do need Gmail account in order to have a Google account or even a YouTube account. So if you're signing up for YouTube, signing up for Google, or you're signing up for Gmail, they're all connected and you need that. So what I suggest is going to Gmail and creating that account before you even sign up for YouTube, for example. However, right away on YouTube, you could go right into sign in. So I'm just going to click on sign in, which is on the top right hand side. And from here, you could just create an account. So we can create an account for myself. That's your very first option. And from here, it's going to tell you this. So right now we're assuming you don't have an email address that you guys can prove that belongs to you and we're gonna create a Gmail instead. So that's your second option down here, create a new Gmail address instead. Because you do need that email in order to create that YouTube account. Now if you have an email already, you guys can go ahead, put in your passwords and just continue on. However, in this video, we're starting from scratch. So what we're gonna do is just go right into Gmail. So what I did in Google was just Google Gmail and then from here, I'm gonna see this Gmail by Google. I'm going to click right there. I'm going to go ahead and create an account. That's on the left hand side. You guys will see create an account. And then from here, I just have to fill up my first name, last name, username, which would be your email and then password that you guys would create. Create one that you will remember for sure. And yes, you guys can change it on later on. So right now we're just going to fill this up. I'm going to show you an example of a password that you could use. So for example, you could use a really difficult password for somebody to guess. So that way there's less chances of you getting hacked. So that would be an example of somewhat of a difficult password for somebody to guess. What I wouldn't suggest to do is something like this. So if my pa my email itself or my name is tech and design, then I wouldn't put tech and design 2000 and something and some type of sign in there. No, that would be a bad password. So once you confirm your password, you put it in and you confirm it, just click on next, which is in the bottom side, bottom, you will see next, just click right there. So luckily nobody has claimed that. So I'm just going to leave that one as is. And on our next page, it's going to ask us for a phone number, which is optional. And you guys can choose whichever country you're from. So make sure to choose the correct one and then put in your phone number again. This is optional. So for now, we're just going to leave this alone. And a recovery email is very important. So I would highly suggest putting a recovery email. However, if you don't have another email, just don't put it. You don't need it. And this part is very important. So make sure to put information that you'll remember. So we're just going to fill up that area. Then your birth, you can put whichever you like. So you guys can just put custom or rather not say, for example, if you don't want to. And then down here below, you also see next. So let's just hit on next. And then we're going to see this page. Just scroll all the way down and you will see agree all the way down on the right side. Just click on I agree. Once you click on agree, this is one of the last steps you actually have to do. So we just have to wait until everything loads up. And there we go. We have our Gmail. We can get started with Gmail right away. I'm just going to click OK right here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So there we go. If I would like to compose an email, I can go ahead and click on the top left hand side. I'm going to see compose. So to make an email, I can just click right there. And from here, I can write this email to anybody at hotmail, for example, dot com subject line, and then write anything that I want. And to send that email out down here below, you will see the send button. I'm just going to close that up for now. And any emails that you would get, they would be right here in your inbox, which is your very first option up here. At this point in time, I'm just going to click on the X to dismiss this just to show you the emails that I have. So the very first email you should get is from here, Google. So I can see that Google sent me this. I can go into my Google account, try apps, all this stuff. So this is very important. So right now that would be it. As long as you guys have your Gmail account, you guys can sign up for everything else. So right now we're going to go back into YouTube and on YouTube, you might see that it kind of locked you in already. So that's the cool thing. If you're doing this from Google Chrome, you might have locked you in. So let's just click up there and I can see my email right here and I can see that it already went in. If it didn't, I'm just going to sign out for now. 
Don't worry about it. Just click on sign in top. And then it's going to give you these choices. Since you already have signed in in your Gmail, it kind of detects you. So we can go right there, put in our password. Once you put in your password, just hit next. Once you hit next, you will see this. So it's going to say protect your account, blah, blah. Um, at this point in time, yes, you can add a recovery phone number, email. You guys can update this or just confirm. It's going to confirm. And we're done. So right now I have my YouTube account. Uh, if I go back into Google, for example, I can sign in. So in order to sign in into your Google, on the top right hand side, you will see sign in and it should sign in you right away. So that's how you guys can create a Google account, YouTube account, just by creating a Gmail account because that links up everything together. So again, to look up my Google account on the top right hand side, I can see this T and I can customize that as well. So I'm going to click on it and right here I can add a picture, I can manage my Google account, I can do anything right in there. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.